What up, y'all? Randy Silva here with your football roundup. What are we diving into today? Schedule and host cities, reaction analysis for Copa America 2024, right here in the good old USA. We're going to show you all the host cities, what are the brackets, who's playing where, and so much more. Let's dive into it. Here are the groups. Group A, Argentina, Brazil, US, and Mexico. We already know where they're going to be in the bracket because they're the leader in groups A. So we'll give you that in a little bit. Group B, Chile, Venezuela, Panama, Paraguay. Group C, Uruguay, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru. And group D, Jamaica, Bolivia. And then we still have qualifying. So March, Trinidad is going to play Canada. Honduras is going to play Costa Rica. The winner of each respective game will be the last two teams in Group D. So with the tournament being the United States, we have six CONCACAF teams and then all 10 teams from Comable South America. Who won last time? Good old Messi, good old Argentina. This started their unbelievable run. This was in 2021, the last time Comable held Copa America. And what happened a couple years later? Messi and the team hoisted the World Cup. What a couple years for them. How did they win? They beat Brazil. Big time. To get there, they had to beat Colombia. To get to the semis, they beat Ecuador. Brazil had to go through Peru and Chile. So the best of the best made it through. Argentina got that victory. But that's the past. And we're looking to the future, which is Copa America 2024 USA starting in 197 days. Let's go over the host cities and venues for Copa America 2024. There's three regions, East, Central, West. In the East, there's five host cities. In Central, there's five host cities. In the West, there's four. Mostly being played in NFL stadiums, get 60,000 plus with a couple of soccer stadiums built in there. We'll tell you why. So let's take a bit deeper as well, just to show you. You know, I try to guess some of the actual stadium sizes. This will tell you. 82,000 for New Jersey, 65,000 Miami Gardens, Orlando, soccer specific, 25,000, Charlotte, 75,000, Atlanta, 70,000. Massive stadiums. In the central, smallest is Kansas City, Kansas, 18,500. The Austin, Texas Stadium, 20,000, soccer specific. So you can see, if you're not a big... Uh, American person knowing sports, NFL stadiums, massive, 70, 60,000. Soccer stadiums, 20, 30,000. And then you can see on the West, 70, 68, 65, 64. Now this takes us to the mass schedule. We're gonna break this down. I know maybe a little bit small on the screen. Feel free to zoom in, but I cut this up. We're gonna break it down. So this is showing you the day by day schedule so you can see it. It has all the stadiums and who's playing where. On the right, you have the group. So we already talked about Argentina, Mexico, USA, and Brazil are in each group. And then the rest will be filled out Thursday, what they, uh, Thursday, December 7th. And we're going to have a full video for that to show you that as well. So you'll know it. So let's dive into this a little bit. So this has group stages, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the final stage, third and the final game. Opening game, Atlanta, Georgia, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Final game, Miami Gardens, Hard Rock Stadium. Two NFL stadiums, the biggest games, are going to put them there. So who's playing where? A1, we already showed you that is Argentina. And it's the first game. So Messi and Argentina are playing in Atlanta. Dome Stadium against who? We don't know yet. A2 will be in Arlington, Texas. Dallas. So then you go up to C2, then you go up to the C2, C3, Miami Gardens. Oh, excuse me, sorry, we go up to B1, B4, and B2, B3. So the first two days, there's only one game. And then starting on Saturday, we have two games. Starting on Sunday, we have two games. Monday, two games. It becomes two games all the way throughout. Whew, let's go. So you can see here, A1 has a game on Thursday. Then they play again on Tuesday. So they got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, a four-day break. And then they have... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a three-day break before they play their third game, you know, play three games in groups. Same thing for, let's say, C1 right here. C1 plays on Sunday. Their next game is 
uh, right here on Thursday. So they have a three day break and then they have basically a three day break again. So if you play Thursday or Friday, you got a bit lucky there. So you can see the schedule, who's going where. We said B1 is the US. So B1's first game is in Houston, Texas for US. And then C1 we said is Mexico. Their first game is Arlington, Texas. Dallas, wow, that's gonna be a big. And then Brazil's first game, D1 is in Inglewood, Los Angeles. So if we look for Argentina, Argentina's in Atlanta, New Jersey, New York, and then Miami Gardens, Messi's backyard. USA is Arlington, C1, Atlanta, C1, and then Kansas City, Missouri, C1, putting them all in big stadiums, of course. Mexico, you expect the same thing. D1 to start. Sorry, I said that I said that wrong. That's Mexico. Mexico, C1, Atlanta, uh, Arlington, and Kansas City. USA is B1, Houston, Inglewood. So Houston, LA, and then Phoenix. Big stadium still. This one makes sure you say it right. And then where's Brazil? D1, Inglewood, Las Vegas. San Francisco Bay Area. Then this takes us to quarterfinals and semifinals. So you can see, hey, where, who's going to play where? It'll take you back so you can see it again. You have East Rutherford. You got Charlotte. And you got Miami Gardens. And then again, Arlington, Houston, Glendale, Las Vegas. And here is all broken out. Easy to see. Again, here's the brackets for you so you know where they're gonna go. You have an idea. Argentina could play Chile, any of these teams, any of these teams. So a group of death could be Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, Jamaica. Brazil could get the same group of death. I mean, any of them honestly could get that group of death. But if you look at the top teams, like you don't wanna get Uruguay, Colombia. You don't wanna get Jamaica, most likely. Canada's gonna be tough out. Here, Venezuela's playing really well. Paraguay's playing decent, Chile. So we'll see how everything shakes out. Draw again is December 7th in Miami, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll have everything for you broken down so you don't want to miss it. We may even go live for it, so stay tuned. And that's your schedule and host today's reaction analysis for Copa America 2024. Stay here, Randy Silver TV. We'll have all the breakdown for you and more on Football Roundup. And I have other videos around PFL, MMA, basketball, American football, living my life as a sportscaster and sports reporter. So come back tomorrow. We'll give you the full update. Whenever you're watching this, just go check out the channel. We'll have a whole playlist for you. It'll be in the bio. Enjoy, y'all. Coming 197 days. Let's get it.